Hi everyone, welcome to the webinar on Web Analytics. Uh, this webinar is going to be for all those who want to do data analytics or revenue analytics using some practical case study and practical data. Whether you are working in a company as finance manager or finance associate or operations manager, operations director or anyone who wants to analyze either revenue or expense or anything, this is going to be a very good start. In this webinar, we're going to discuss about revenue analytics using a case study and uh, with the help of Power BI basic. So we'll use basics of Power BI only. We'll not go into too much in depth of Power BI. Just anyone who can use that basics and then upload the data and make some charts to understand what the data is telling you. That's what it is. Okay. But we'll be more focusing in this uh, webinar on revenue analytics part rather than Power BI. Power BI is just will use as a tool to uh, to analyze the data. That's it. Okay. So if you're looking this webinar for for Power BI functionality, then this is not for you. I'm sorry. This is for for uh, functional people who wants to uh, run some anal analysis on revenue or expense or whatsoever. So I hope this webinar is going to be useful for you. So in this webinar, we're going to unlock revenue insights with the help of Power BI, right? If you're working in any industry, it will be useful for you. So keep watching. So first of all, we're going to discuss, okay, why revenue analytics matters. Then we will go to basics of Power BI. We'll show you the Power BI dashboard, how it looks. Then we'll build the first dashboard. Uh, we'll do the live demo. And then we'll move to what actions we can understand we take from this data. Okay, that's the whole agenda of this webinar. So the main problem why we use Power BI right now is basically Excel crashes sometimes when you have huge volume of data, when there are lakhs of line items, actual Excel crashes. And it doesn't it, it runs very slow so that's why we go to power bi because it can handle voluminous data very easily right second main reason is that in excel identifying trends to identify trends you have to do so many steps so many working step by step right adding deleting blah 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 but what we in power bi we can do is we can set up all those steps one time and then we just refresh the data and it keeps on giving you the final result. So that is why Power BI is important. Now, revenue analysis is important. Why? Because see, uh, it's very easy to understand revenue analysis is important to anyone in the company if you are working in whether in finance, operations or anywhere. You can identify and spot high versus low performing products, high versus low spending customers. You can improve your revenues uh, and forecast with the help of understanding the data with the help of Power BI and taking actions. That's why this analysis is important. That once you analyze, you can start taking actions that how to increase the revenue, how to increase the profitability. Now, Power BI, what is Power BI? We all know that Power BI is a tool which turns raw data into interactive dashboards. If you see here, this is the Power BI dashboard looks like, and this is the Excel file, which we all know it's, it's a cluster of numbers. Right, okay. So now let's move on to the case study. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this small pockets of webinar. So now we're gonna see this case study in the next webinar and understand what it is and move forward with the data, how the data is structured. And then we move forward to Power BI, okay? Uh, I hope to see you in the next webinar. Thank you so much.